Greetings Spartan and welcome back to the UNSC Infinity War Game Simulation Training Program. Today Spartan we will be covering the Gravity Hammer. The Type 2 Energy Hammer is a weapon that belongs to the Giralhanai, a former Covenant species more commonly referred to as Brutes. This weapon hails from their totemistic traditions and they consider it a symbolic weapon in the same way that the elites revere the Energy Sword. At first, it may seem like nothing more than an oversized mace, but the weapon actually contains a gravity drive that is capable of generating a shock field on impact that greatly increases its destructive capabilities and can even manipulate local energy fields. The gravity hammer may have become rare in the days following the Covenant War, but it is nonetheless a powerful and intimidating weapon. A Spartan is capable of swinging the gravity hammer up to 51 times per minute. Like many energy-based Covenant weapons, it cannot be reloaded or recharged by human methods, so once the battery is empty, replace it immediately. It also has a very short red reticle range of 4.54 meters. The gravity hammer can kill a Spartan with a single swing and remove an overshield with a direct hit. When combined with the damage boost, one hit will remove not only a Spartan's overshield, but their standard shields as well. When swung, the hammer produces a shockwave that consumes about 8% of its battery. This shockwave emits a large amount of concussive force that is capable of launching heavy objects and Spartans into the air. The shockwave is projected forward and to the sides in a half circle pattern. It will reach up to 8 meters from this point of impact, but at the edges of its reach it will deal almost no damage. The force of the shockwave is even capable of deflecting a variety of projectiles. These deflections often seem to require more luck than skill, but they are still possible. A seemingly unknown capability of the hammer is that its normal melee attack can actually parry blows from an energy sword. The hammer must have energy in the battery in order to do this, but the parry itself will consume no power. The hammer is also surprisingly effective against vehicles. It can destroy most of them with only a couple swings, and when coupled with a damage boost, it can one-shot anything but a tank. Not to mention the shockwave can also knock most vehicles around and even overturn them, which effectively removes them from combat. Just be careful when destroying a vehicle because when the vehicle explodes, it does have a high chance of killing you. Similarly to the energy sword, you will be immune to slowdown effects if you are shot while sprinting with the hammer. This makes it safer to run towards enemies, but that doesn't mean that's what you should do. You should never have the hammer equipped until you are ready to use it. The last thing you want is to be attacked with no way to retaliate or defend yourself. Use another weapon until the opportunity to use the hammer arises. And while the hammer does create a powerful shockwave, it doesn't have the long-range lunge attack of the sword. Granted, if your reticle is red, you will perform a small lunge, but the red reticle range of the hammer is much shorter than that of the energy sword. And when you move into attack, make sure that you get close enough to kill before swinging the hammer, otherwise you'll just knock your opponent out of your reach, possibly to safety where they'll either be able to escape, or worse, kill you. Just as with the sword, a bolt shot will be your most common threat. Enemies will either run directly at you, or they will try to lure you around corners where you'll be easy to pick off. Fortunately with the hammer, you can simply strike the ground in front of you to knock them away. Then, you can move in and kill them while they are either forced to fire their shot or they're trying to swap weapons. And finally, if you find yourself facing off against a sword, have no fear, the hammer is almost a direct counter to it. Not only can you parry their attacks as previously stated, but the power strike from the hammer will generally kill a Spartan in the middle of a sword lunge, assuming that you don't wait too long to attack. But a common tactic sword wielders will be using against you will be to move in and fake an attack, hoping to trick you into swinging early, and then killing you while you're unable to defend yourself. Make sure that they are committed to their attack before attempting to retaliate. Overall, the Gravity Hammer is a powerful but limited weapon. Within its short effective range, it is almost unstoppable, and it can juggle enemies and vehicles to a surprising degree. But the limited range of this weapon will make you an easy target, so don't pull it out until you're ready to use it. But I guarantee that once you equip this brutal gravity-driven mace, you'll have a smashing good time.
Thank you for watching this episode of my Halo 4 Weapon Guides. If you enjoyed it, please have a look at my other videos and be sure to stay tuned for more to come. As always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. My name is Matt and I'll see you next time.